Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This video is the Azure Cloud Certification Roadmap for complete beginners. Now I've looked on YouTube and I've seen quite a few different roadmaps for AWS and there are not many roadmaps which share the same kind of information when it comes to Microsoft Azure. So I thought I would be the perfect person to run through some of the different certifications on Azure for people who are going after these Azure certifications and trying to get a better understanding of the paths and just have a roadmap and know what they are going for, what's next after they get one certification or the other. I've had quite a few different questions on this from people on the channel. So I thought this would be a really good next video to make and as your cloud certification roadmap for beginners. Before we begin, let me speak a little bit about my personal certification path with Azure. As you know, my name is Caleb Oni Certified and I named it this because that is kind of how I started this channel. I got a certification and I made a video on it to help others to understand that certification and know how to prepare for it. And I've been doing that a lot as I've gone on. These certifications have been mainly Microsoft focused, although I've had videos on AWS stuff, but I'm very much focused on Azure in my career and also with the videos I make. I try to step out a little bit here and there, but I'm mainly an Azure focused engineer. I will definitely be pivoting in the future. So at this point in my career, I have two Azure certifications and I have loads of other foundational ones, but we're speaking about Azure right now. And I have the AZ900, of course, which is the basic fundamental certification if you wanna get into Azure. And I have taken and passed the AZ104. The next Azure certification I'm going for is the AZ500, which I've made another video on how difficult it is. And I'll be taking this hopefully before the end of the year if procrastination does not get the best of me. <laughs> and so of course, as you know, certifications are not everything, but I have a strong belief that they provide a really good path for you to understand what you wanna learn next and how exactly to gather the information you need to do a good job in the role you're doing. So let's jump in and understand some of the certifications that we have with Azure. Now, here's a really good view of the different certification paths that are in Microsoft Azure. You can see that there's loads of them. They all start with a fundamental certification, which is optional, and they go through to an associate level certification or a specialist certification. Now, there is a common misconception amongst people. Some people seem to think that certifications have very specific salaries attached to them or that there is a pay range that is under a specific certification and this is definitely not true a certification is something that when you get this you can use this to prove that you've covered a certain knowledge area and once you've covered this area a certification shows that you understand a certain thing and once you have that and add that to your cv and portfolio it can help you show an employer that you understand something but this doesn't guarantee a specific amount of money or a very rigid pay range. Definitely early on in your career, certifications like these can really help the employer to understand that you're someone who is focused on a specific area and you fit the role you're applying for a lot more, but it doesn't guarantee a certain amount of money. Now, Microsoft have a wide range of certifications and these certifications are based on different parts of their tech stack. So they have certifications for different things like 365 or specific things for, for Microsoft desktops. But today we're gonna to be speaking about the Azure certifications. So forget everything else, there's loads more, but we're focused on Azure. Wow, I did not mean to rhyme. <laughs> now to start off, let's define the four levels of Azure certification. And these certifications are ranked using a star system. And when we talk about the fundamental certifications, things like the AZ900 or AI900, certifications are ranked using stars and the fundamentals are one star certifications. They are typically pretty easy to complete. You could study for these in two weeks, two to three weeks. Some people have studied for this kind of certification in one day and passed it. It's really not difficult to pass, but it is meant for people who are just getting in. It's meant for beginners learning the fundamentals, and that is why it's quite simple and easy to pass. 
so that anyone that is trying to get that foundation and understand a bit more about Azure or these different areas of Azure can easily go through this, study for this and pass this. Now the second level of certification is the associate certification. Now these are things like your AZ500 and your AZ104 and these certifications come directly after the fundamentals. Now just so you understand, when you're taking the associate, there are no prerequisites for this. You don't have to take a fundamentals certification before going on to take an associate level certification. You can just go straight to associate. And of course, these associate level certifications are focused a lot more on specific areas. Things like the AZ104 is focused on Azure administration or the AZ500 focused on Azure security. And these certifications are definitely a lot more recognized than those fundamentals. They are a lot more hands-on. They focus on the technology and how things work rather than just a broad understanding of things. The third level I wanna speak about is the expert level certification. And expert level certifications are things like your Azure Cloud Solutions Architect Expert or your Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. And these certifications do have prerequisites. And to achieve these levels of certifications, there are multiple exams to take and there are specific prerequisites for each of them. And I will speak a bit more about that later in this video. Now, we're gonna be focusing on this area of certification because it is the area that I'm most focused on and a lot of people on this channel will be most focused on. There are loads of other areas and perhaps I'll cover them in a part two of this video. But for now, let's look at this area. Now amongst this certification, there are paths that one will follow and there are prerequisites for those expert certifications. Now let's take a look at some of the certifications. Now we've already spoken a little bit about the AZ900. This is the fundamental certification. And in my opinion, I think anyone going into Azure, anyone that is a beginner and really wants to get into Azure and become a cloud engineer with Azure should take this certification first of all, before looking or thinking about anything else. This certification just gives you that foundational understanding of what Azure is, what Azure services are, and what sort of things Azure offers. Now, it doesn't go specifically into how any of these services really work, but it gives you a good baseline to go ahead onto those associate level certifications. So in my opinion, this is where you start. Now, AZ900 is one of the fundamentals. There are other fundamentals such as the AI900 and also the DP900, which cover Azure AI and Azure Data Engineering. Now, let's move on to some associates. Let's talk about the AZ104 and the AZ204. Now, as you know, I hold the AZ104 and I have a lot of videos on the AZ104 on this channel. So you can definitely check those out for more information. But to briefly cover this off, the AZ104 sort of focuses on infrastructure as a service and administration within Azure. So when we talk about infrastructure as a service, we are talking about things like networking, like storage, like computing. And then when we talk about the AZ204, we're speaking more of platform as a service and platform as a service covers things like development and programming within the cloud. I also want to speak about the AZ500, which is the certification which I'll be taking pretty soon. And the AZ500 is the focus on Azure security. I'm currently working as a cloud security engineer, as most of you already know, and covering this certification is definitely a lot of the skills which I use in my day-to-day -day job. That's why for me personally, it is important for me to take this certification pretty soon for my personal development and my understanding. And this can really help me in the job that I do on a day to day. And next, I wanna talk about the AZ305. And the AZ305 is the last step on the journey to achieving an Azure Cloud Solutions Architect Expert Certification. And the exam for this is called Designing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solutions. This is the last step to achieve that expert level. And I have a friend called Lee who actually took this certification and passed it. And I'll be linking his post here in the description of this video so you guys can go and check out his blog. He made a little post on how how he passed this certification and you guys should definitely go and check that out. It's in the description, so check that after this video. Now there is also the AZ400, which is also the last step to becoming an expert 
and this is for the path of the Azure DevOps engineer expert. And now let me cover off the complete path so you really understand what this means. So as you know, as I mentioned, all fundamentals are optional. So there is no requirement to take this to complete an Azure path. But to become an Azure Solutions Architect expert, the way to achieve this is by taking the AZ-104 and taking the AZ-305 and becoming an Azure Solutions Architect expert. And if you're looking to become an Azure DevOps expert, there's two paths you can take. You can either take the AZ-104 and then take the AZ-400 and become an expert, or take the AZ-204, which will go through the platform as a service kind of route and then take the AZ400 and then become an Azure DevOps engineer expert. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And I hope you guys are thinking of what sort of path you'd wanna to take to achieving this. And as I've said, we shouldn't be looking at certifications as a way of getting more money and wanting to achieve this because this will give me the money that I need or the money and salary growth. But for me anyways, I see these certifications as a way to learn and really cover a specific area and then use that to boost my portfolio. And that is what I'm doing. And I hope that there's a lot of you guys doing the same and using these certifications to really learn a lot more and complete a specific path and understand a lot more about what you want to do, where you want to go and how you want to achieve certain things. Thanks so much for watching. You know what to do. Follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. Like, subscribe, share, comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.